Watching what's happened in Tunisia since 2011 has, has really been so inspiring. I think they're creating a unique model here in Tunisia, in North Africa, in an Arabic-speaking country of an indigenous democracy. In international observer missions, we have the opportunity to accompany people in other countries on their democratic journey. I think it's wonderful for uh, people from democratic countries to be there for each other, to witness and to help and support. And I think it's wonderful when people do this in the United States as well, when we have observers for our elections from other countries. Well, one of the things I have been hearing about politics in Tunisia is that Tunisian voters are becoming more and more focused on how democracy delivers or doesn't deliver in their country. They're really starting to look very seriously for improvements in governance, in economic policies. So it's going to be really interesting to see how political candidates, how political lists try to meet that demand somehow and how voters make their choice about their parliamentary representatives based on their desire to see democracy deliver. The parliament in Tunisia is, is quite important. Even though there's been a lot of focus on the presidential election in Tunisia, arguably the parliament and the prime minister have even more weight within the uh, Tunisian democratic political system. So the, the choices that Tunisians make will be really important and it's going to be interesting to see to what extent young people are investing in the democratic system by showing up for the elections. Thank you.